Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, I'm uh, not a technical profile, so I feel a bit out of place here. But I'm from Brussels and I saw something was going on with IPFS, so I said like I need to join because we have a new startup that we started working on in February and where we want to use IPFS technology. Uh, so I quickly just explain where the what the idea behind the startup is. Uh, so this is my grandma, she's 95 years old. She's called Granny, and she was one of the first Belgian female entrepreneurs. And uh, she has some crazy stories. And I want to make sure that my kids and future generations get to know her stories. And so I was like, how can I make sure that it actually is possible? I wanted to write a book, make a movie, but I mean, this is quite inaccessible for most people, quite complicated to do. And even if, it, if you get to that point, how am I gonna make sure that it's gonna live on forever and be there in 200 years? And so um, at the same time, uh, being quite busy with Web3, but more uh, of blockchain uh, aspect, uh, I've invested quite a lot and been quite busy in the metaverse space. And it's quite funny because a friend of mine asked me like, yeah, um, how are metaverses doing? And I was like, hmm, if you really wanna think about it, the easiest way to explain what metaverses look like, it's like a fucking cemetery, right? It's like if you walk around, there is not much people there and it's quite empty. Uh, and the combination of those two, two things, so willing, the willingness to immortalize the stories of my grandma and the idea of like digital graves emerged into Ugacy, coming from your legacy. It's like, can we also create a digital tomb that can actually be used to immortalize people's stories? Um, and thinking about that, we are five people working on the team. We're like, yeah, where, does, where do actually tombs come from? And it's like, okay, if you look really back in time, you have the pyramids, which was actually quite interesting because it was one of the first ways for people still being alive, using their tomb to immortalize their stories. But of course, only a couple of, a handful of people were able to make that. So we were saying like, can we actually make it possible for anyone to have like this digital pyramid uh, to store their stories forever? Uh, being immortal is something that is like everybody's seeking in a way or another, whether it is physically being immortal and freezing your body in, or just creating something that will leave your legacy uh, after you're not there anymore. Um, if you look at how digital, well, uh, physical tombs are. They have a lot of downsides, but I'll not speak about that. So what we want to do is like make this digital so that you can actually store those stories forever. Uh, a second thing that comes up in the medium term for people who use it for themselves, so not to have the stories of the others, is I think it's also one of the best ways to boost you to live like your life to the fullest potential because it's some kind of self-reflection on yourself. And then in the super long term, it would be an amazing way to actually store the story of humanity because now we only know the stories of the super famous and big names out there, while I think everybody has a story worth sharing. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the technology of Web3 being blockchain, uh, soulbound, uh, well, it's a bit different from NFT, I'll go into that in a second, uh, and using IPFS uh, feels like the perfect combination to achieve that. So how does it actually work? Well, when you're gonna create a legacy for yourself or someone else, in the beginning, it's an NFT. Are you, I, I hear you coming like, oh, fuck NFT again. We're going that, that way. Well, no, there is a catch because if you actually want to use it, because the idea is that it's an NFT so that you can actually buy it to give to someone else or whatever. But when you want to use it, you need to first make it a Solvent uh, token. So Solvent is an NFT, or the only difference is that you can actually not exchange it anymore. It's on that same wallet forever. And what happens is that if you want to upload something like a video, voice, or even text, uh, we put an IPFS using Filecoin and the hash well, the, as, gets added as metadata on top of that NFT. And so, so it means that you, we can create an interface that will be reading that NFT and the, the data that's on it, but anyone else could actually also create an interface. So if you're like, ah, we don't like that interface or we could do something more with it, potentially everybody could build something around it. So an easy way to explain it is like, you have this USB stick where you put files on it and we create a display to read it, but anyone else could also uh, do so. Now, the, the rest of the presentation is more into the how we're gonna monetize this and what's the business model behind it, but I just wanted to present it because, uh, I mean, the big challenge here is of course like how are we gonna make it so that it is stored on IPFS and make sure that it's still there in 200 years, and that's what I wanted to present here and get some feedback and questions around that topic because I think the, we have some of the greatest minds around the topic here. <laughs>